Chair Master Herbalist, and I'm here with Z Natural Foods uh, to do another video for the Z Natural Foods Herb and Superfood Education Program. Now, today's topic is going to be on two of my favorite categories of herbs, tonics and adaptogens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly discuss really the main differences uh, and why I believe that everyone should be on some type of a tonic or an, and or adaptogenic uh, herb as an individual or as a formula, okay? So I'm going to start with adaptogens, okay? <clears throat> Adap what an adaptogen does is, is that it helps the body to support uh, a healthy stress response, okay? And as you all know from reading the... Um, <clears throat> urban superfood uh, education program as well as listening to some of my other videos you understand that stress is a huge factor when it comes to balance in the body when it comes to dealing with uh, any type of dis-ease within the system and within the body and what this does is adaptogens are <clears throat> things that do help to bring balance back via the fact that they help the body or they support the body's ability to have a healthy stress response. So when you are in a better state and when your body is in a better place because you're dealing with stress better, your body begins to function at a more optimal level, okay? Now, with tonics, tonics are a little bit different because when you're dealing with tonics, tonics are all about what's called the intention behind why you want to use a tonic, okay? And with tonics, you're not, you're getting a broad range of effects from tonics, okay? So instead of seeing one specific effect, what you're doing is you're getting a broad range. So overall, you're going to see an accumulative effect from the long-term usage of a specific tonic or a formula of tonic herbs, okay? I hope that that makes sense because, you know, the difference between the two, there is, there is a fine line, but the line does exist, okay? Um, some of the reasons why you would take a tonic or a, a group of different tonic herbs is, again, it's a food that supports a nonspecific response in maintaining balance and adaptability, okay? That's the number one reason why we take it, okay? Um, they've been traditionally used to support what's called life-giving effects, okay? And by when I say life-giving effects, I mean it's a lot about balance because tonics are a very traditional thing with Chinese medicine, as they are with really many different um, medicines throughout the world. And because of that, it, it really comes down to balance and homeostasis when you're dealing with a tonic herb or tonic herbs, plural, more than one. Um, <clears throat> but if I were to narrow this down, I would probably say there are three really profound effects of why we take tonics, okay? The first one is, is that tonics can be taken indefinitely with no breaks. As a matter of fact, the longer you take them, the more profound the effect is going to be, and the more profound effect you will see over time. The biggest mistake people make with both tonics and adaptogens is, is that they stop them too soon, and they don't really get the true nourishing benefit from these powerful foods that you're supposed to get. Okay. As a matter of fact, when you look up, when you look at history books in Chinese medicine and so on and so forth, one of the things you absolutely are going to take note of is that some of these formulas or some of these individual herbs that were named after an actual person, okay, what's interesting is, is that the story behind that person is, is that they took it for almost like 85% of their life. You know what I'm saying? So it was used for an extensive period of time with no breaks, okay? Um, <clears throat> the second reason is, is that, or the second profound reason I should say that we take tonic herbs is, is that all they have are effects, profound effects, and those effects will accumulate over time. 
okay? And that's really important to understand because when you take tonic herbs, whatever happens is exactly what's supposed to happen, okay? Because it's a, it's a part of that balancing process, okay? Now with adaptogens, you would even go as far as to say that the same exact thing applies but it's a part of the adaptation process versus the balancing. You know, so you say potato, I say potato chip. Adaptation or adaptation or balance, okay? They're very similar, but there's a fine line that does separate the both of them, okay? And <clears throat> the other reason, uh, the third and final reason that I think is super important to use tonic herbs is because most tonic herbs are what's called double direction herbs. So that same tonic herb that helps to support healthy sleep patterns will also help to support and nourish your body to give you the energy you need to be able to make it through a long, hard day, okay? Now, how does it do that? Well, again, when you have an herb or a food that has hundreds of thousands, excuse me, hundreds to possibly thousands of phyto, different phytochemicals and phytonutrients, the double direction herbs, because they're always trying to find balance for you and support your body's ability to find balance, that's what makes them a double direction herb, just that, that in itself, because if you're too ramped up, it'll want to bring you back down to level. If you're, too, if you're really run down, it'll want to bring you back up. So that's where the term double direction goes, because it can work either way based on where your body and where your health is currently at. Okay, and that's really important. Those are really important facts to really kind of get to, to get into your minds and to think about it. Okay, now when we speak about adaptogens, adaptogens again are plants and foods that support the body's ability to have a healthy stress response. Okay, but again, the effects with adaptogens are general. But the bottom line when taking and the bottom line results can be very different according to the, how the individual handles stress. You see, how you handle stress is everything when it comes to taking adaptogens, okay? So again, based on your stress levels, based on how you handle stress, and based on the way your body deals with stress in the big picture are all going to show the prof how profound of an effect you're going to get over what period of time. Very important, very, very important to, uh, to, um, um, to understand that, okay? Um, again, tonics and adaptogens work in a very similar way, but it comes down to the intention of why you're trying to use a tonic versus an adaptogen. So I hope that this information has helped you guys, and I hope you have a clearer understanding of what the difference is between a tonic and an adaptogen. I'll see you all soon. Have a great day.